Okay, we're going to make a cover, a mylar cover, for a hardcover book that doesn't have a dust jacket. These are the things we're going to need. This is a roll of Duralar, and Duralar is a good one. You can get it at any craft store, or I really recommend that you buy it from Talis, talisonline.com, where you can get the 5 mil. 5 millimeter is the best thickness for this. Anything You'll need a weight just to help hold it in place at some point. Box cutter, X-Acto knife, whatever you use to cut. A big long ruler. I really recommend getting a Teflon folder to make the folds and rub them down. And you also need a bone folder, especially a nice pointy one like this. We're going to start out by just getting a piece of the mylar, duralar, whatever you want to call it, the plastic, <laughs> off of the roll. Because when it's on the roll, it's you know you just can't, can't deal with it. So we just want to get a rough cut, and you, and you want to line it up with the edges. That's the important part, because you want the rough cut to be stay square to the lines. That'll really help later on when we're doing the other cuts. Alright, double checking. Alright, that's a good rough cut. That is that will be bigger than the book. I'm just going to cut that off. When I'm making the cut, I'm holding the ruler down really hard. And I'm pulling the knife with less strength than pushing down because you don't want this to move at all. I'm going to check to make sure that it's square just by putting it up against the edges of this mat. And it is square. That's good. Perfectly smooth there and perfectly smooth there. Now I can get the actual height of the book. So I'm lining up the edge of the mylar with the cutting mat and I'm lining up the edge of the book and I want this right edge of the mylar to be close to the book, within an inch. I'm going to score the top here with the bone folder, the tough one, and then I can move the book and the crease is very obvious right there. And I'm just going to take it to the edge right here, making sure that these are straight and square. And then I'm going to do the same thing over on this end, just to make sure that when I come all the way across with the fold, that it's not going to go off and be a different length at one end. Scoring that, had to make sure that this went straight, that both of those are even. Now I have both ends even, and I should be able to just pull on that a little bit and go across without it getting crooked in the middle. Take that just to complete it. Once again, hopefully I'll be able to keep this from moving this time. Actually putting the pressure on. It's like stopping there, inching down. And get rid of that. Then we want to get the measurement for this side. This size. Obviously this is too long. If wrapping this around, it's going to go inside here and then on the other side covering anything that seems important, but I, I think about halfway is good. So I'm going to make another cut. Here, and all I have to do is line it up. And it's a rough cut. Now for the folding part. So you put it in the approximate place and I just rolled this bit over. That's the first flap. You're using your Teflon folder. Once again, it doesn't make any marks. Got the first mark, the first fold made. And now I want to make the second fold by rolling this out, the thickness of the board. So the board is this thick. 
it's about a sixteenth. It's definitely less than an eighth of an inch. But whatever it is, that's it. You just kind of go, oh, it's about that thick. And you roll this out by just kind of pinching here, pushing it, and then aiming at the top edge to line it up again. You just go for that sixteenth as close as you possibly can to the actual book board width. But it's going to stay folded now, nice and neat like that, and it's going to fit very neatly around the board. Bring it back over, and I'm pulling a little firmly. You pull this around, and then you pinch that edge. So I am pinching right here to find that edge to match with the corner. Making that pinch, and then I pull it around, line it up, rub it down, and then I'm going to roll out again. So pushing this just that little tiny bit. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Once again, rolling this back to that first thing so that it just stays neatly folded. You put that on, and it just really brightens up a book on the shelf. It protects it from fingerprints and damage of all kinds. If it fell down, it's more likely to be safe. And that double fold is what makes all the difference to it not falling off the book when you're pulling it off a shelf. When you just have a single fold, it just it's not gripping the book. And that's it. Mylar cover on a hardcover book.